The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. Now, we'll begin here with figure seven. Firstly, for the purposes of simplification, our object is given as a one-dimensional arrow. However, the object can be a tree or a person, etc. Now, moving on, the object is parallel to the plane mirror. And the height of the object is given by the following. Next, the image formed by an extended object is an extended image. For each point on the object, there is a corresponding point on the image. And drawing any two rays from each point on an object suffices to locate the image of that point. For example, two of the rays are shown at point T here. And after uh, excuse me, reflection, the rays appear to diverge from the corresponding point of the image, that being T dash. The height of the image is given by the following. Next, like our previous slide, the two triangles are congruent. That tells us then that the object and the image have the same size and orientation. Therefore, the height of the object is equal to the height of the image. Now, the ratio of the image size to the object size is called the magnification. Coming back to figure seven, there's a few other points that we should uh, take note of. For one, since the image arrow and the object arrow point in the same direction, the image is said to be erect. With a plane mirror, the formed image is always erect, and the height of the image and the height of the object has the same magnitude and sign. Therefore, the magnification of a plane mirror is always one. And this actually should make sense, considering when you look at yourself in a plane mirror, your image is the same size as you. Now, I just want to quickly touch base on one other point looking at figure 23. <clears throat> the opposite of an erect image is an inverted image, meaning the image arrow points in the opposite direction to that of the object arrow. Also for inverted images, the height of the image is given a negative sign. Therefore, the magnification will also be negative. Don't worry too much about this now as we'll be doing numerous examples throughout the lecture. For now, I just want you to be able to contrast between a erect image and a inverted image. Now, on this slide, up till now, we've only considered one-dimensional objects for a plane mirror. Let's now consider a three-dimensional object, and we'll do that on our next slide. Beginning here, we'll